What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley. For those who are new here, hello and welcome. And for all of my returning subscribers, hey girl. So today we are going to be talking 2021 catch all layout setup situation. So I'm really excited because I honestly feel like the system that I've kind of been testing out the past couple months and like just getting a feel for the flow of my catch all, I think that I'm going to like this. I'm I'm feeling peace, right? So, without further ado, let's just go on ahead and get right into it. All right, you guys. So, this is what my current catch all setup looks like. Um, I still have my 2021, I was about to say 2020, it ain't 2020. I still have my 2021 items in here. I haven't quite put in my 2022 things yet, but we will be doing a little bit of that setup today. So as you see, I have the Happy Planner Deluxe Cover. I love this quilted clean look. For the most part, this planner stays on my vanity. So I like how clean this is. I like the extended um, metal discs. Obviously, you see they're gold. I prefer gold metal discs for my catch-all, no matter what. I just like how clean this looks. So opening, opening it up. So for 2021, I used the Teresa Collins Do What You Love planner. I have used this planner all, all year. I have not swapped out. I haven't switched up. I don't do that. So as soon as you open it up here, I have this little envelope here. This came in the Teresa Collins Be Happy box. Obviously, it coordinates nicely with the cover. And I just keep like extra pictures and any little bits and bops that I want to, you know, just have close by. I keep that here. And then I also have these little sticky notes pad. This actually came in the black and white accessory pack. I just liked, again, the clean look of it. And right up in the front, so let's start. I have these everyday filler sheets. I always like to keep some of these nearby because there are some days that I just do a little bit more. So having these like right up in the front, very handy. Um, I also have some of these sheets. These also came in the Teresa Collins Be Happy box. I wanna say that was a 2019 release. Um, I just have a few of these sheets left, so I'm just slowly trying to use them up. So I also have these up here in the front with my today papers. So that's the first thing that we kind of, you know, open up my planner to. I have just this dashboard here. I don't love this dashboard, but it works for now. Eventually, I would like to get a more clean, neutral dashboard set up for all of the different sections in my planner. But for right now, I'm using what I got. So next we go into the home extension pack. This came out many years ago as well. I wanna say you can still pick this up in Joanne Fabrics. I don't have the original pack package, but you know, I still wanted to give this a mention. I have, I think these are all of the dividers for this so a chore section which usually i'll do like any spring cleaning you know any additional sheets i'll put here because i really don't use the sheets that they have and then for the meal plan section i don't use what actually came in this extension mm. I actually don't use what came in the meal plans extension pack. I just like the cover because again, nice and clean, neutral. And then I love this little substitution sheet that was including in, included in that. But as you can see here, right up in the front, I have some of these shopping list sheets, which actually is a pad of paper that the Happy Planner came out with for the fall release. So I like these because they're super handy. The paper quality isn't like, you know, what your planner will be, which is why I really like it because I don't feel like it's wasted uh, paper. So yeah, I can just use this, rip it out, you know, take it with me to the store and there you go. So that's the first thing that you see there. You guys have seen my menu setup, So none of this has changed. 
we're just going over everything as it stands right now in my planner. The next thing that you see is a month glance. This is where I like to plan out all of my dinners for the month. Sometimes these things are like pretty set in stone, solid, but sometimes, you know, we might end up with a little bit more leftovers than what I planned, or, you know, maybe I was too busy and couldn't get around to cooking everything, but I like to have like a general idea for the month. That way I'm not scrambling when I'm like trying to do my shopping plans for the week, etc. So that's what we have next. And then we go into the meal planning extension pack so i have you know everything laid out here but this is available um as an extension pack this is slightly different from the planner which is why i ended up going with the extension pack versus the planner the planner i don't necessarily want to have something dated so that was number one and then number two is i don't know everything was just like slightly different and honestly oh so this is what the extension pack for the home extension pack, that's the, the menu plans for that. I just have it stuck in here just for, you know, just in case I do wanna eventually use these again. But let me go back here. So it comes with this sheet here, which I really like the idea of. However, I don't really necessarily use this, but like I said, I just liked the way this layout was versus what the planner looked like. And then too, I just wanted to try it out. That's what I like about these extension packs. These extension packs just give you an opportunity to just try something without committing to a full year, without committing to something that's dated. And you know, in the case that it doesn't work for you, it's less waste. You can always gift your remaining months to somebody else or sell them or swap or whatever um, but overall it's less waste it's money saved so that is the menu section and then we have the budgeting section which i use nothing is actually filled out over here so this this section here i'm kind of like on the fence about whether or not i'm going to keep it in here for now it's it's living here but um these come in the home extension pack so these aren't any different i have some like just extra note paper in here just so i can jot down any notes and that's pretty much the extent of my budget section right now um this year i want to do something different i want to do most of my budgeting in my mini you guys will see a full mini setup after this video so definitely stay tuned for that but that is the budgeting section. And then we have a project section. So I actually rarely really use this, um, but it's really handy. So like if you're doing like, you know, some party planning or whatever, you know, these, these sheets are really nice to have. I was using this for like my seedling sale. I didn't really get too far in that, but I do keep this section in here. All right, so now we move into the actual planner section. So here is where things are gonna look different. Like I said, right now I have been using the Teresa Collins vertical layout. Let me get to a page. So this is what the current pages look like for 2022. I am no longer gonna be a vertical girl, so. Here is where the, the new planners step on in. So I decided to go with a dashboard layout. I have never used a dashboard layout for my classic. So like I said, I'm, I'm very excited about just the switch up. And as you guys may or may not know, if you've been here before, then you have realized that I am more of a functional planner i like decorative elements don't get me wrong but functional is my jam so here i kind of have things like roughly set up um i did purchase the spoonful of faith hold on let's rewind this is the spoonful of faith 2022 dashboard planner so this is the front cover it says bloom with grace it has these beautiful florals on the inside this color right here is like it's such a vibe but like i said i actually um 
compared this with the what am I trying to say the companion pack so in the companion pack there is this envelope and then I can't remember was this in the planner or in the this was in the companion also and then we have like these extra sticker sheets here so I just pulled this up to the front this may move around a little bit but yeah we have of course our cover page and our year at a glance some perpetual calendars and then this is where things kind of like you know go into what I feel may be the setup so in the companion pack it came with these reflection of grace pages so it says rejoice and gives opportunity to serve blessed by where my heart is trusting god in finding hope in learning to be patient with simple joy i need extra help to worship song i'm singing asking god for courage to seeing god's hand in answer prayer someone to encourage what i'm reading and then at the bottom you have praises and gratitude um and then on the back it just has some practical practicing spiritual discipline so i'm not one that's into like scripture reading or anything like that but i'm thinking that this may be a cute section to just have like any type of like inspirational quotes whether that be a scripture or just a simple word that maybe i heard from a podcast from a book or whatever so that's what i'm going to use this back area for hopefully and then obviously we have our um what is it called currently so this is kind of like an extended version of the currently right, let's get into the actual planner so i love just how clean these pages are baby the happy planner really did something right this year like a majority of their planners outside of the actual dividers and the covers are really really clean like this and yeah i'm i'm all about it so these are what the page ugh, these are what the pages look like so let's go on ahead and let's get it cracking y'all let's go on ahead and put january in actually i'm gonna put yeah this this full section in my planner as we phase out of december that is where i will commit and put like my cover and everything on but for now actually do i want to move this stuff around Hmm. yeah we might shuffle some things around but for now i'm just gonna stick january in my planner oh this is exciting this is what i like about a new start a fresh start to the year all right so we are committed we have january in here thinking again that i may end up putting like this portion of my planner in the front and maybe putting the home extension pack behind that i don't know we'll see how it goes anyways so that is it for my catch all section moving forward is where we go into my wellness section so again using some of the items from the spoonful of faith companion pack i have these dashboards here for some vision boards now the way that this is set up now it it may not be what i use it for so it says thoughts and prayers here i'm thinking i might put just like a large photo here to just you know fill out this whole page i just think that would be really nice and then I'll, I'll switch up some of the headers i might cover up some areas but i definitely want to take time to just create like a really beautiful vision board so that i can you know inspire myself for the new year um on the back it just says don't you dare give up and it's just like some of this clear space i'm thinking maybe i can just do a bunch of different inspirational quotes um you guys seen this before in my um memory keeping so i'm just going to move this out of the way real quick because i don't want to be distracted so like i said 
Moving into our wellness section, you guys. So I wanted to do something completely different. I didn't want to have just a ton of like weeklies to decorate. So instead of getting the wellness planner, I ended up getting the undated wellness extension. So I think I have a video showing like all of this setup, but in any case, let's go on ahead and just flip through how I have this set up. I did not choose to use all of the pages for this section. So again, I'm just going to show you how I set it up and how I feel it's going to be good for me. So we have the divider here. I love these dividers. I think they look super clean, really cute. We have our monthly here. I have not yet dated, but I will. And then what I liked about this extension was all of the additional sheets that are not in the 12 month planner. And this is like the main reason why I picked up this extension. So yeah, it has these self-care activity checklists. I love this. And I love that it gives you all of this additional space to like, write in more things and then it has a self-affirmation check-in um, and just a few different prompts. I felt loved when, I felt challenged when, I felt strong when, I felt happy when, I felt blank when and again area for you to customize your messaging and then it has some of these like check-ins. What I was thinking was basically have like one check-in a week or maybe twice a week, like once at the beginning of the week, once at the end, etc. I don't know how this will work exactly, but it gives you eight check-ins for the month. So you can like do with that however you may please. And then we have some wellness goals, um, steps to make it happen, etc. And then for my weekly, instead of, hold on, let me, let me just show you real quick. So typically after these pages, it will go into this just blank sheet here, and then it'll go into the wellness layout weekly. Again, I didn't want to have another weekly, and I, f I completely fell off of my wellness planner last, or this year, I should say. It was, it was becoming a daunting task. It wasn't any fun for me anymore. And I have other journals, et cetera. So having a wellness planner, like with a weekly anyways, it was just doing a, a bit too much. So instead of using the weekly pages, I decided to go with the routine for the week. I think that this is gonna help me out a lot. So it just has like blank space for you to put what the week is, Monday through Sunday. You have three blocks. So I'm assuming morning, afternoon, and evening. And then we can like fill out however we we wanna fill this out. I definitely need to build healthy routines um, especially right now, like in the winter, I kind of get like the winter blues or like seasonal depression. And so having a routine of the way I start my day, the way that I'm replenishing myself at the end of the night is very important right now. I'm like in the process of like trying to figure that out, but that's where I think that, you know, using these pages, putting it down on paper, adjusting it for, you know, maybe my work days, et cetera, I think is going to be really, really healthy for me. So I have two of these sheets here. I figured my work schedule swaps every other week. So like I have like a little bit of a, a schedule change every other week. So I figured I'll have, you know, one of the weeks filled out and then the next week, you know, kind of figured out as well. So that's kind of my thought process for these pages. Next in the same planner, I added some of the gratitude pages. Now these came in the, uh, 
what was it called? Mm, excuse me. The Happiness and Gratitude Be Happy Box. Um, this was the journal that it came with. And these are just like daily gratitude pages. I added enough for the month in each little section. So it has like two per day or per, it has two days per sheet. So I think this is just going to be a nice area for me to like do some quick journaling, nothing too deep and involved, but just like taking a moment of reflection and gratitude daily, I think it's going to help me out a lot. And so again, I have enough for the full month. It ends with this note page here. And then this kind of rounds out the month. So this is kind of like, yeah, on my mind, how I added to my physical wellness, how I added to my mental wellness, obstacles I faced this month, simple things that bring me joy. And yeah, and then we have a reflection or with reflecting on this month. And then same setup for the next month. So boom, I feel like that was a lot, but it makes sense in my brain. So yeah, I really like the way that came together. All right. And lastly, in this planner, I have my social media. Um, this planner I have been using for, or since July. Yeah, since July. So you guys have seen this already on my page. This is a monthly layout. So really quickly, I'll just show you. I like this because it's very neutral, very clean, clean calendar, very clean. Like I always call this the dashboard. I don't know if that's the right term for this, but that's, that's kind of like what I use it as. It's like a dashboard with all the information here. And then we go into our our daily tasks and lists. Um, so this is what I use for my social media planning. If you guys have been on my page before, then you kind of see how I use this, but I will show you the current month. Um, so here is what December is looking like. As you can see, I use the monthly to just write down um, the videos that I actually get scheduled and put up for the month. And then again, dashboard page. This is kind of where I track all of my habits, have my goals, any things that I need to purchase or share. Um, any like themes that I want to follow, I put in this little box. And then all of my video ideas go here. Any shout outs or people to keep in mind, I usually list in this section. And then obviously priorities. And then again, just my 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 list I try to keep like you know somewhat organized as far as my content is concerned so this is how I use my monthly layout and that pretty much is it for my catch-all for 2022 I'm very excited um just to like get things rolling for next year um like I said, I might end up swapping out just like my catch all section with my home extension section, just so I have that that name, that name page right up in the front. I feel like it's necessary. I'm not 100% sure that I want to switch out my cover. That's something that I'm still kind of pondering on, um, especially since I have the folder. I don't know yet. You guys, honestly, I have no idea. That part, I'm still figuring it out. But all in all, that is it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, please make sure that you hit this with a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comment section, how many sections do you have in your planner? Are you trying to keep it a little bit more simple this year? Are you actually adding more on? Let me know. I would love to hear. I thank you all so much for stopping by. If you enjoy my channel, please make sure that you subscribe as well as hit the bell notification. That way you are notified every single time I release a new video. I wish you all health, wealth, and prosperity. And until the next time, peace out.